Hello YouTube, so today I really want to start a series on this channel that sparked discussion in the comments down below where there's some interaction between me and you and, and we can discuss on topics that that I've been thinking about or you hand in and then I start thinking about it that way. It doesn't really matter. I just really want to communicate with you guys more and I feel like this is a great way of doing it. This week's video is about something that really sparked my interest during a lecture by Alex Murden. He came in to talk about environmental art and art in conjunction to the environment and it was all very interesting. He was talking about shallow ecology and deep ecology and it was all really it was very, very interesting, and it, but what really sparked my interest, what what really got me, was he used examples that when I when I started the lecture, I didn't really consider art. If I'm going to be completely honest, first example he used was his own piece of work where he blueprinted the idea of installing a stairlift in Haytor Rocks, which is this um, tourist attraction in Dartmoor, Devon where people who are disabled would sit on the stairlift and go up to the top and be able to see on top of uh, on top of these or uh, on top of Hater Rocks to view all of Dartmoor um to make the the stairs basically stairs were um installed in the 1800s and that way people who are disabled would be able to experience what you know people who who can walk up these stairs to make them accessible, basically. And of course, the National Trust took this and went, really? No, no, that's that's not going to happen. No. Which, he said in the lecture, was what he's expected. And that started my, like, my that really what got my coals turning on terms of what he was talking about, because I'm like, it's interesting, but is it art? The second example he used was these group of people called Superflex that that basically they installed a biogas um, a facility in this Thai village to make the village more environmentally friendly and giving them a new source of of renewable energy and it, that really interested me. But then he described that as art and that was when I really went how is installing biogas though it's great it's a great idea and I think more people should be trying to turn these small places and villages and towns more to the way of environmentally friendly energy how is that artwork and so the lecture goes on and he talks about some examples that I definitely see as art but then those two especially those two examples kind of still in my head going what is this and then the end of the lecture, he asked for questions, and I basically I asked him how, especially the the second one, the superflex one, how is that art? Basically said, do well, do you think it's art? And I I kind of honestly went, not really, no. And then he said, well, in defence to superflex and of all the other artwork that I didn't consider art. Um, he said what they would say is that the installing of the biogas chamber wasn't art, but it was. The, re the connection that the, the people and the biogas chambers, that relationship, that's art. Let's me an example of a painting. So you see a painting right there. And that painting itself isn't art. That got me. Like, that painting isn't art. But it is the relationship that painting has to the audience and the conversation that comes around with that painting and the discussion and the thinking and and basically how it's it's the it's that relationship that's the artwork and I kind of just went wow because by that way of thinking of what art is that that sort of like idea just opens up what art is and it really, I think that really, like, interested me. I immediately, like, went, oh, my God, yes. In my own practice, I really love immersive theatre, where the, where the, the audience and the theatre, they're, they're basically, they're connected. They walk through, they experience it firsthand. They're not just sitting there absentmindedly watching this piece of theatre. They're really in it, and they're living it. And I really, I like that. And that's what these pieces are. That they're, they're basically, they're, they're, they're creating these pieces of art that, that these people live when they saw that biogas chamber they they were living that that experience of being environmentally friendly and that's the art they were becoming one with the environment i think the word he used was symbiotic 
I'm not sure if that's the right word, but basically in tune with nature and being one with nature and actually working in harmony with Earth and that really interests me. And then again, he talked he in defense of his own work. It wasn't the actual blueprint of of the stair lift on, on the Hater Rocks that was the artwork. It was the way that the National Trust went no, and then the media coverage that was on it. I think he had um. Uh, a newspaper article written about it and that discussion of how people are like oh you can't have that that will ruin this beautiful natural thing but in fact the stairs are already there and people are walking on it and 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 eroding it and the more people go to these areas the the more that the the nature and the beauty of it will wear away because of human interaction with it and why shouldn't I feel like even a stair lift? That's just it's you sit, so you're not even rubbing your. It's not you're not eroding away the rock. You're not carve. You just basically sit on it, and then you're taken to the top, and then you can see it, and then you take it back down again. Which I think maybe even is a little bit more protecting of hate rocks. I don't know. I, I guess. I guess it was really interesting how how the media and National Trust reacted to it, and that's the art, and that kind of blew my mind because it opened. It opens up so many of the closed doors that I close thinking that's not art. And now those are open because now I'm like, well, by me saying that isn't art. By me going, what even is that? What are you doing that makes it art? And that is, I think, is a really interesting idea. So basically, I want to know, have you ever experienced going to an art gallery or watching a piece of theatre or listening to a piece of music, for example, like four minutes silence and going, that isn't music, that isn't theatre, that isn't art, and and talking about it. Like, if you look at it if on the reaction of it, then, like, how does that change your perception of that art? Or do you completely disagree with me and you, th and you think, what are you even talking about? I really would like to know. I'd really love to get a discussion going in the comments. So please, please comment in and talk about it. So please remember to give me suggestions of what you think I should talk about next because, you know, I have a couple of ideas, but if you guys have something that's really cool to talk about and discuss, then please give it in, because I'd, I'd love to make this a real series of where we talk to each other and it'll be great. And also, video responses, that's cool, so put a link to them in the comments below and I'll click on them and I'll watch them, and I really want to get a discussion going to this. I'm really excited about this, by the way. So I think that's everything, so like and favourite if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.